good evening dear students welcome to tenali patshala so in today's class we are going to talk about a blueprint for first year chemistry midterm examination 2023 and 24 so if this video is helpful to you please share among your friends so that every student can get a benefit of benefit of it right yes so as you know this year the question paper pattern is somewhat different so section wise you will get the marks guys right for part a belongs to one mark question in part a again two parts are there roman number 1 that roman number 1 indicating that is a mcqs 15 mcqs you have to answer guys 15 mcqs and five fill in the blanks in part 2 uh, part a roman number 2 Five fill in the blanks. Total twenty marks. Next part B. Part B is nothing but you are having two mark questions. You are given with nine two mark questions, and you have to answer any five of the nine questions. Any five. Each question carries a two mark. Nine questions given to you. You have to answer five question. Each question carries a two marks. Like that. That is part B. Now part C. Part C belongs to three mark question, guys. And again, they have divided this year three mark question again into two parts. Three mark question from the physical chemistry and three mark question from the inorganic chemistry. We'll discuss in detail with chapters. Don't worry. Yes, three mark question again two parts from physical chemistry, Roman number four from inorganic chemistry, Roman number five. Roman number four belongs to physical chemistry. Five questions are given to you. You have to answer any three. Out of five question, you have to answer any three questions. So three into five will get fifteen marks here. And in part five also belongs to part C fifth question, uh, Roman number fifth. Again three mark question from inorganic chemistry. Six questions are given to you. You have to answer any three. Part D is of five five mark question, and they are only going to ask five mark question from the entirely from the organic chemistry. Four questions are given to you. Out of four question, you have to answer any. two questions this part d belongs to organic chemistry only question will be from organic chemistry same pattern is followed for animal also yes part e part e again guys here three mark question only but you will get here numerical problems particularly will get numerical problems so eight numerical problems are given to you out of eight problems you have to answer four problems so these all eight problems from physical chemistry only No organic chemistry problems are raised here. So part E belongs to physical chemistry. Part D belongs to organic chemistry. Part C, Roman number four belongs to physical chemistry. Roman number five belongs to inorganic chemistry. Like that. Again, they have merit section, right? So we'll discuss in detail with the chapters. Physical chemistry two chapters you are having for midterm exam. Some basic concept of chemistry and one more is that uh, structure of atom, right? So some basic concept of chemistry. total from physical chemistry will get 56 marks talking about midterm so from basic concept of chemistry chapter totally will get 27 marks how you are getting 27 carefully see three mc four mcqs question question number 1 2 3 4 from the mcqs so these all are from asked from the basic concept of chemistry chapter only four mcqs one fill in the blank question number 16 fill in the blank question Two two mark question. Question number twenty one and twenty two belongs to this chapter only. Two mark questions. Two three mark question. Theory they are not asked from this one. Here three mark question. I told no physical chemistry point. So three three mark question. That to theory only they will ask here. Question number thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven. These are belongs to physical chemistry theory. That to from some basic concept of chemistry. Yes, talking about six uh, five more question. Those are not there in the physical and inorganic. Already I told. Last part E. I told you this part E belongs to numerical problems and from some basic concept of chemistry. You will get three problems uh, named with the question numbers forty five, forty six, and forty seven question numbers. You will get three problems from this chapter. So totally. We M C Q is four, four mark. One fill in the blanks, one mark total five. Two marks two, four means nine mark. Three mark three, nine plus nine plus nine eighteen, and three mark three again, eighteen plus nine. So you will get twenty seven marks. I hope you followed. Then second chapter, 
So what I have written here, these all are the question numbers also I have written with question numbers. So structure of atom is the second chapter, physical chemistry. Again, it is carrying 29 marks weightage for midterm. Again, four MCQs, question, uh, named with the question number 5, 6, 7, 8. Four MCQs question. One fill in the blanks question. Th three two mark questions. And again, three three mark question. I told you, part C, Roman number 5 belongs to physical chemistry. That too, they will ask only theory here. Question number 38, 39, 40 belongs to theory part of the structure of atom. And last one, again, 48, 49, 50. These question numbers are belongs to problematic part from the structure of atom. Carefully see, this part C, fifth, Roman number 5, there you were getting question number 38, 39, 40. These are belongs to three mark question from the structure of atom theory part. And 48, 49, 50, structure of atom only, but that is problematic part. I hope you are getting, yes, part E totally belongs to problematic part, right? Talking about inorganic, only one chapter is there, all of you know that. That is classification of elements and periodicity in properties, right? So inorganic chemistry, 23 marks you will get from this chapter. Again, you will get three MCQs, MCQ question, one fill in the blanks question, two two mark question. And I told you, part C, Roman number four belongs to inorganic chemistry. Four inorganic question you will get, five inorganic question you will get, out of five, out of answer three. Question number 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. These all are belongs to this chapter only and all are theory part only. Clearly I have mentioned all are theory part only and out of five question you will get any three. You have to write any three. Here no five mark question, no problems. Yes. Talking about organic chemistry, 36 marks you will get. So, you know, only one chapter is there from the organic chemistry. That is a GOC. Organic chemistry, some basic principles and techniques. You can also call it as a general organic chemistry. From this chapter, you are having 36 marks. You see here, four MCQs. Named with the question number 12, 13, 14, 15. Two fill in the blank questions. Two two mark questions. And here, part C is not belongs to organic. Part D is totally belongs to organic, I told you. Here, you have to get four questions, five more questions. Out of four, question number 41, 42, 43, 44, you have to answer any two, right, for five mark. And here again, problems are not asked. Sorry, here two problems are asked. Question number 51 and 52. Two problems from organic chemistry. Getting. So, this is a pattern, guys. You see. So here from MCQ 15 marks, 15 question, fill in the blanks, 5 question, 5 marks, 2 mark question out of 9 you have to answer 5, so 5 into 2 you will get 10 marks, 3 mark question from inorganic chemistry, 5 question they will give you have to answer 3, 3 into 3 9 marks, again the 3 mark question from the physical chemistry, 6 question they will give you have to answer 3 questions, 3 into 3 9 marks again, 5 mark question totally belongs to organic chemistry, they will ask 4, you have to answer any 2, so 5 into 2 you will get 10, and again last part I told you numerical problems, uh, 6 problems from physical chemistry, 2 problems from organic chemistry, totally you will get 8 questions, uh, out of 8 questions you have to answer any 4, 4 into 3 again 12, so totally 15 plus 5 plus 10 plus 9 plus 9 plus 10 plus 12, totally you will get 70 marks, your question paper is with 115 marks, you have to answer 70 marks. Right? So, just if you want to take a screenshot, you can take it, guys. If this video is helpful to you, please share at least five of your fans so that every student can get a benefit of it. And if you got a useful video, this one, please like the video and make us inspire for the next video preparation. Right? Thanks for watching and all the best for your midterm exam. Thank you.